a highly sophisticated weather-watching eye in the sky to join its twin in providing better forecasts and saving lives. Atlas has begun a pitch and yaw maneuver to steer to its planned path, an azimuth of 100.7 degrees. At 35 seconds, the rocket carrying GOES S will reach Mach 1, traveling faster than the speed of sound. Roll program is complete. The speed chamber pressures are rolling off as expected. At 47 seconds after launch, the vehicle will pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. Max, max, max Q. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and the resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. up as expected. You were also hearing the voice of United Launch Alliance flight commentator Marty Malinowski. SRB chamber pressures continue to look good at plateau. At 1 minute 50 seconds into flight, the first two solid rocket boosters will be jettisoned, followed about a second and a half later an by burnout. other boosters. And we have an indication of SRB burnout. Booster engine continues to perform well. Approximately 10 seconds to SRB jettison. And with indication of four solid jettison, looks like a clean separation. And a clean separation being reported of the solid rocket boosters. Vehicle we are two minutes, four steering. seconds in front. The next major milestone, three minutes, 30 seconds into flight, the payload fairing protecting GOES-S during its flight through the atmosphere will be jettisoned three and a half minutes after launch.